human beings consider ourselves as the most developed creature on this earth. To a certain extent, we are developed as far as intelligence, creativity, communication etc. are concerned. This may be the reason that human population is a catalytic agent of all changes and developments. Human population is composed of two components, male and female. The ratio of females and males is also a causal factor for the development of human population and all the changes taking place in the environment. Concept of sex ratio Sex ratio is the index of male and female balance in the population. In the Indian context, sex ratio is defined as the number of females per thousand males in the population. Suppose the sex ratio of a country is 1000. This ratio says that the total number of females and males are equal in the country. If the ratio is 1100, it means there are more females than males in the country. This figure communicates that the sex ratio is favorable to females. If the sex ratio is less than 1000, say 950, it means that the sex ratio is unfavorable to females. Internationally, the sex ratio is defined as the number of males per thousand females. Sex ratio of different regions of the world. Let us look at this figure which gives a comparative picture of sex ratio of various regions. We can see here that in countries of Northern America, Latin America, including the Caribbean countries and Europe, the sex ratio is in favor of females. In Asian countries like India, where the major proportion of the world population inhabits, the sex ratio is unfavorable to females. Sex ratio in India In India, for the past several decades, it has been noted that the males are more numerous in comparison to females. In 1901, the sex ratio of India was 972, while in 1971, it came down to 930. According to the 1981 census, a marginal improvement took place and the sex ratio rose to 933. In the year 2000, the sex ratio was 939. It means for every 1000 males, there were 939 females. In our country, there are inter-regional variations in the sex ratio. Kerala has a favorable sex ratio equal to that of Japan, that is 1038 females to 1000 males. According to the 2001 census, the worst child sex ratio have been noted in Punjab 798, Haryana 819, Delhi 868, Gujarat 883, Himachal Pradesh 896, Uttaranchal 908 and Rajasthan 909. Reasons for unfavorable sex ratio in India There are several reasons for the unfavorable sex ratio in India. First, biologically, more males are born than females. Second, males get preferential treatment in comparison to females. Third, female infanticide, which means girl children are killed just after birth. Fourth, female feticide, which means girl children are killed even before birth. Evidence shows that sex selective abortions have increased dramatically in India. The use of ultrasound for sex determination started in the late 1970s. It has been estimated 
that between 1978 and 1983, nearly 78,000 female fetuses identified through prenatal sex determination were aborted. Fifth, many women die at the time of childbirth. Sixth, many women are sacrificed at the altar of dowry. Either they are killed or they are compelled to commit suicide. Seventh, Neglect in old age also causes many deaths among women. Eighth, due to improved health care and the relative absence of wars, today men outnumber women. Effects of unfavorable sex ratio on life expectancy. The unfavorable sex ratio decreases female life expectancy in comparison to males. But the 1981 census has shown that the female ratio was a shade better. The average life expectancy for female at birth was 56.4 and for males was 55.6. In Kerala, it is far better, 69.87 for females and 65.23 for males. Thus, Kerala women live longer than males. There are also factors like illiteracy. It is one of the most important factors which has been responsible for the less percentage of females. The developed countries have been able to overcome the sex difference by totally wiping out illiteracy. With literacy comes the awareness about the importance of hygiene, sanitation, nutrition, pre and post natal care on scientific lines. Thus, we have been able to make remarkable progress in the field of public health and the Medicare system. The sex ratio is regarded as an important social indicator. It affects marriage rates, labor, market participation and sex roles. Effect of unfavorable sex ratio on environment. Eco-feminists have argued that the root of the environmental crisis is due to the dominance of men over women that is tightly linked to the social practices and institutions by which women have been subordinated to men. Because of their role in childbearing, child raising and human sexuality, women are seen as more emotional, close to nature and more subjective and passive, whereas men are masculine, more rational closer to constructed artifacts and the life of the mind and objective and active. The domination of nature accompanies the domination of women and as women are exploited for the interests of men, so too is nature. If the percentage or number of women is less than men, naturally the domination of women would be more. This pattern would lead to the destruction of balance, loss of beauty and emotionality of nature. Effect of unfavorable sex ratio on social system. Each and every society has its own system of functioning. Although variations can be observed among various societies and communities, we can see some commonness among them. For example, in all the human societies, people marry and give birth to children. If a society has less of females as compared to males, then some of the males will be bound to remain unmarried. Enjoying sex is a biological need of human beings, but they can enjoy this natural right only after following the social rule that is marriage. In case of unfavorable sex ratio, the birth of social crisis may take place that may lead to a disbalance in the social system. Evolutionary Stable Strategy As we know, human society is composed of both men and women. Since both males and females have equal chance of being born, therefore the natural ratio between them is supposed to be 1 is to 1, which is considered as the equilibrium ratio. In modern language, one is to one sex ratio is known as Evolutionary Stable Strategy, ESS. Let us take all precautions 
and adopt all measures to achieve and maintain this 1 is to 1 sex ratio. We Indians have a long way to go to convert this unfavorable sex ratio into a favorable one which every civilized society in the world possesses.